Can you imagine animals so gorgeous? But, so bad for the environment? I love animals, I think that we should all take care of the environment to ensure that different species can live in peace, and the food chain runs its course. But, not all animals do the planet good. And, some of them, are being protected by us, the environmentalists. These animal invasions can cause the animal extinction of other species, and we don't want a museum full of extinct creatures. If you love animals as much as I do, and want to know why some are bad for the planet, I invite you to discover together the gorgeous creatures that could destroy the world. And for some extra fun, find our mascot Ned, hiding throughout the video. Elephants in South Africa Elephants are the giants of nature, but we all know that they are gentle giants that would not harm a fly, unless they are in danger. Even if you think elephants couldn't harm anything or anyone, these giant mammals can break branches, bushes, and even knock down entire trees. This is not such a serious problem when elephants live in freedom, on vast and wide land, because forests can be recovered quickly. But, when the land cannot contain a large number of elephants, they become harmful. This is the case of elephants living in the Makalali Game Reserve in South Africa. To protect elephants from poachers, they were assigned to protected areas. Although the nature reserve is vast, there is not enough space for the herds that inhabit it. The population is growing uncontrollably causing great damage to the ecosystem. Locusts These insects have been famous for thousands of years, they are remembered as one of the ten plagues that hit Egypt. Locusts are a pest that can destroy giant fields of crops, but these small ones are not to blame, since a locust by itself is not a pest, but the climatic conditions, force several locusts to move to certain areas, which also generates a greater reproduction of this species. Unfortunately, locust swarms are considered a pest due to conditions outside their species. The Crown of Thorns Starfish are one of the most beautiful sea creatures we know of. We all want to see a starfish in person at least once in our lives. The crown of thorns is a very large starfish that is covered in long, poisonous thorns. This little animal lives in coral reefs and feeds on coral polyps, very colorful and tentacle-covered sea creatures. When the population of these stars begins to grow uncontrollably, it can wipe out reef ecosystems quickly. Pollution is the number one enemy of coral reefs, Enemy number two is these starfish, that feed on mature corals and do not allow young corals to reach adulthood. Cattle Livestock is one of the main sources of food and economic production in various countries of the world, but livestock does great harm to the planet. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the livestock sector is responsible for 18% of greenhouse gases. Livestock produce a high volume of methane gas, due to flatulence and belching. Apart from this great problem, livestock is also guilty of great deforestation throughout the world, especially in the Amazon jungle of South America. These problems are generated by the large consumption of livestock, also the increase in the human population, which forces the livestock sector to produce and consume more. Common Carp Carp is a freshwater fish considered one of the world's most damaging invasive species. What is harmful about this small fish, is that it feeds on the vegetation that grows at the bottom of its ecosystem, destroying this vegetation completely. Imagine the damage they can cause when they are introduced to environments where they do not belong. These fish have become so harmful that the governments of the United States and Australia spend millions annually to control the growth of the animal's population. So, don't feel bad about having a carp on your plate, you're doing the planet a favor. Kangaroos Probably Australia's best known animal is the kangaroo. These grandiose marsupials, unique, surprising and adorable, have unfortunately become a problem for the inhabitants of Canberra, the Australian capital. The situation is so dire, that government officials have considered wiping out much of the kangaroo population, with the goal of protecting endangered plants, and reptiles, that are food for marsupials. In addition to the fact that kangaroos have also entered the homes of several inhabitants without permission, and the problems of road accidents persist. Let's hope that these adorable marsupials are controlled and their population is not reduced in such a violent way. Dogs in China Dog lovers have a belief, the more dogs we have in our homes, the better. But, this motto will not be useful to you if you live in China. 
In China they love puppies as much as in other parts of the world, but there is also an uncontrolled growth in the puppy population, which has caused a growth in cases of rabies. Rabies is a disease that attacks the nervous system, is fatal to humans, and is transmitted by our furry friends. For this reason, since 2011, only one puppy is allowed in China per household. So, if you want to have more than one puppy, I do not recommend going to China. White-tailed deer in the United States In the United States there is an animal that is causing a problem, due to its overpopulation. The white-tailed deer is an animal that inhabits much of the American continent, but according to a study by the Nature Conservancy, the overpopulation of this species, has caused that much of the vegetation has been consumed, causing changes in the nature of forests. Jellyfish Jellyfish are very interesting, beautiful, and dangerous creatures. If you have ever felt the pain of a jellyfish sting, you must be terrified of them, and I assure you that whenever you are swimming in the sea you are very attentive to any transparent and gelatinous creature that appears. If this is your case, you are not the only one who does not love jellyfish. The jellyfish population is growing uncontrollably, because they eat anything, have no natural predators, and are very difficult to exterminate. It's not to scare you, but jellyfish may one day dominate the depths of the ocean, and none of us will be safe. Badgers in England There is a species of mammals that has lived in Europe for years that is causing a serious disease in livestock. The European badger is causing the rapid spread of bovine tuberculosis, and this is not being liked by farmers at all, who are demanding that the government remove the badger in several regions. Animal activists disagree with these measures and try to protect the European badger at all costs. A balance in the ecosystem must be reached or we may end up eliminating the badger just like Australia did with the Tasmanian tiger or thylacine. Leopleurodon there was a great carnivore that was the terror of all species more than 160 million years ago, but thank goodness we are not on its food chain or share the same space and time. In the Jurassic period, the Leopleurodon was a gigantic marine reptile, which was located at the top of the food chain. Its large size was one of the main reasons that made it a super predator, almost as tall as a giraffe. It had large fins that made it a good swimmer, and in this way it managed to capture its prey. The Leopleurodon would have been a great predator capable of killing any animal or species that got in its way, fortunately even for us this gigantic reptile is only a distant memory. If there were no insects on the planet, you probably find insects unpleasant, and a pest, some of them are so gross. But let me tell you that these little ones are very important to the planet's ecosystem, so much so, that you can think of a hypothetical case in which, if insects would not exist, neither would we, and the planet would not be habitable. This is because many of these insects, by feeding on other species, control the spread of many dangerous diseases for them and even for us. Not all insects are harmful. Moreover, the vast majority of them are harmless to us, we cannot relate their unpleasant appearance to the fact that they are harmful. So, remember this the next time you see a little bug, don't hurt it. Now you know how important these little ones are to our planet. As you could see, not all animals are good for the environment, especially those species that are living in ecosystems where they do not belong. These species are responsible for the deterioration of ecosystems, and the extinction of other species, due to the population growth that these animals have gone through. Everything in excess is bad, and the animal population is not the exception to this rule, so animals must have predators, and other factors that help control the population. Still, you and I know that we humans do much more damage to the ecosystem than all of these invasive species. So, take care of the environment and take care of animals. Thank you very much for watching this video. And, see you next time. Remember to hit the bell icon after you subscribe. So, you can get instant notifications for all our new videos.